Our presentation will be on Agile Software Development. The first question that comes to your mind when you hear Agile Software Development is, what is Agile Development? Well, before going to answer that question, let me give a brief history the circumstances that led to this new software development paradigm. Agile concepts came to play in the first half of 1990s after the software crisis, although the actual answer Agile Manifesto was written in 2001. Before that, the methodology of software development was mainly governed by the waterfall method. The statistics of the projects that was done before Agile Manifesto. 31% of the software development projects were cancelled by the client. 75% of the projects were considered failures by the same people who developed it. 50% of the projects, that means 1 in 2 projects, expenses went over 200% by our budget. In 2001, 13 developers got together in search of a solution for the failure rate and created the manifesto of Agile Software Development where they defined what Agile Software Development is. Individuals and interactions over processes and tools. Working software over congruency documentation. Customer collaboration over contract negotiation. Responding to change or following a plan. Well, let's see what characteristics Agile Software Development has generated to following the Agile manifesto. Features of Agile Software Development. What do you think makes Agile Software Development so special? These are some of the key features of Agile Software Development. Mainly being focused. The goal is to have an available release at the end of each iteration presented to the user. The iterations are of short time period which require no long term planning. Emphasizing on the word user, we can say that the agile software development method is user centric. After each iteration of the project, the client is presented with a working software. The user feedback as well as experience is considered to be valuable. According to customer needs, the Agile Software Development Method can respond faster and more effectively because it applies techniques from a vast range of Agile practices. This shows flexibility and adaptability. Who is behind all this? It is a cross-functional development team. They are a self-organized group of people with daily face-to-face -face communication and they update each other with the progress of each task and solve problems arise using collaboration. Finally, to answer the question, what makes Agile Software Development so special? It is a greater return on each investment because the overall risk is minimized. Let's think some software company comes and tells you that they are using Agile methodology for software development. Then I'll give you a tip. You can tell them, no, that's impossible. Let me tell you why. Agile alone is not a methodology. It is an umbrella term referring to several methodologies which use an Agile approach. Some of the Agile methodologies are Extreme Programming, Agile Unified Process, Crystal, and Scrum. At least for a very little time, let me give you an overview about Agile development using Scrum Framework, which is one of the famous Agile methodologies used in software development. The process starts by creating a product backlog by the product owner. Backlog contains a prioritized list of tasks to be achieved by the product. A widely used terminology in Scrum is Sprint. It is the basic unit of development time. The project is made up of several sprints. After the product backlog is set, then comes the Sprint Planning Meeting. In that meeting, the team comes up with a Sprint Backlog, which is like a to-do list to be completed during each sprint. Now, as the team knows what has to be done during each sprint, they start working on the project. And daily, the team meets up in a scrum meeting. 
they are the team members share what they completed since the last meeting what they want to complete before the next meeting and whether there are any impediments which might cause them to become blocked these meetings expose risk and increase effectiveness these scrum meetings are led by a scrum master who is a facilitator who helps ensure success removes impediments and aids in decision making after each sprint a sprint review meeting and a sprint retrospective meeting are held this sprint review meeting is called with the client this meeting is held to improve the product show accomplishment and get first-hand feedback from the client the sprint retrospective meeting focuses on improving team and encouraging them to make improvements in every sprint so, what's the speciality in Scrum? After each sprint, working software is produced. After enough working software is produced, you are ready for the product release. Agile was traditional methods. Okay, we quickly summarize what is traditional methods. We do all the our works through phrase by phrase. We gather all requirement in first phrase. We did not move to the next phase until we gather all requirements. After gathering all requirements, we move to the next next level design. In this way, we do all our design development process through linear process. When we come to the agile development, you will still do same type of work as you would be using the traditional methods. You create requirements and designs, you develop your product and you integrate your product with other product as necessary. You test the products, fix and problems and develop it for use. But difference is when we difference in the agile development, we first look at only the one feature. We go through all of these stages to develop this feature. After develop this we move to the next feature. Therefore in agile development User requirement can be changed in any, any time. This is very good advantages that compare with traditional methods. Then we look at customer involvement. You can see in traditional methods there is only one release. Therefore, customer first gives his requirement in design phase and then he gives his feedback at the end. But in agile development, when we finish first feature, we get feedback from customer. So customer always involved with agile development. Then we look at the process. We can see in traditional methods or in different phases with long time schedule. And in agile development you can see there is iterative development phases with short time schedule. Okay, now we quickly summarize about agile. In agile development Customer actively involved involve, uh, requirements can be changed in any time and also requirement can prioritize and list documentation. The special thing about agile development is success, successful possibility guaranteed. As my colleagues presented the aspects of agile development and how it is used you might have an idea of what Agile development means. What I will be focusing on is the major misunderstanding of Agile concepts that leads to failure of big projects. There are five major pitfalls you should watch out if you are using Agile development for a software development project. Two steps forward, one step back. Agile breaks down projects into iterations that deliver potentially workable software within two to four weeks. The scope of what is being delivered from iteration to iteration can vary dramatically based on feedback from users. And sometimes the user don't know what they want. Being blind to certain future demands can lead to products being developed in a way that doesn't support those iterations. Also, while Agile is supposed to control scope creep, there are reports that are the iterative design process can lead the user demanded a multitude of changes at each iteration, making it difficult for the developers to deliver. 
not been ready for automated testing is another pitfall of Agile. The rapid delivery cycle under Agile makes software to automate testing a necessity to keep the quality of the product and the code from slipping. Then again, the cost of adopting automated testing and the hassle in changing ways of working to accommodate it can seem more bother than they are worth. But failing to introduce automated testing makes it tricky for manual testing teams to keep on top of bugs during the short delivery times for each iteration of the software, particularly as the overall code grows in size. The fourth pitfall is that it's hard to get by in. If a business with a long history of developing software using auto alternative methodologies, switching to agile requires a profound change in the way everyone from the software maintenance team to the management teams operate. The final pitfall is that Agile ignores the creative nature of coding. Agile movement claim it embodies a wider problem with software development methodologies that the focus on courses ignores the creative nature of programming. This focus on courses ignores how important design decisions are when developing software because most of the design decisions are affected by client and it is not the same as an experienced developer with deep understanding of the business domain. Now let's take a look at some of the critics of agile development that's been going around. Lack of structure and necessary documentation only works with senior level developers insufficient software design. Contractual negotiations can be very inefficient, impossible to develop realistic estimates. Cultural change, scope creep, and agile is a feature driven. Apart from the major pitfalls and the critics, there are some additional problems that developers using agile has found. Pair programming. In agile, coding is done with pairs. A pair is a senior programmer and a junior programmer. That is, they are doing it in a driving mode. One is driving the car and one is observing. In the context of programming, one will be typing the code and the other one will be monitoring for syntax errors. Using this kind of technique, personal hygiene, sexual comfort and intimate social skills suddenly matter more with pair programming than programming itself. It's easy to get so excited about refactoring that you want to refactor code that doesn't matter, to apply advanced patterns to trivial routines, and to refactor right before deadlines. The practices support one another in one important way. If you abandon one, you'll get into trouble in another. For example, if you stop doing TDD, your refactoring will get harder and riskier. Just because you think you are following the practices doesn't mean that you are doing it right. You really need to have the talented people to understand how extreme programming or any other agile method works and to do it right. And yet you may still fail. Just because you are an agile doesn't guarantee that you complete your project or that it will be a good software that your customer wants. What agile fever means is that some Developers use Agile Manifesto in their development project and not use it properly. Because they do not understand the insights of every information and do not follow exact philosophy of Agile, they end up in big failure and they blame it because of Agile. This situation is called Agile failure. So the conclusion is, as long as you have a clear idea on what Agile development means, it is the best software development manifest that suits 80% of software projects. Be sure that you understand the philosophy very well and that you know the tools properly. If you are using Agile, then experiment, inspect and adapt. If you don't know what is Agile and what is the breadth and depth of it, 
please don't use it. That's it for the major pitfalls of Agile and that's it for the presentation from Ground Zero. Thank you.